Hey friends, today I'm gonna be reviewing Elemental. I know what y'all are thinking. This is basically just Pixar Zootopia. I mean, it pretty much is, but trust me when I say that it's a really good movie. Based on the trailers and the advertisements, I kind of thought that this movie was going to be really mediocre and generic, which thankfully it wasn't too generic, despite a couple of cliches here and there. The third act breakup and the romance between the two main characters actually worked really well. I think Wade and Ember had a pretty good amount of chemistry, even though it's nowhere near as good as the chemistry found in Beauty and the Beast. While I may or may not prefer Zootopia over this movie, I feel like the topic of racism is handled a little bit better in this one. And thankfully, this movie doesn't even have a twist villain at all. It doesn't really need a villain to function. The animation in this movie is godly, which is kind of expected for Pixar, but it really stands out here. And I gotta give kudos to those who had to render Ember and Wade alone. I do have a couple of small complaints with this movie. I kind of wish that the air and earth elements were built on a bit more, though it also would kind of drag down the pace, which is practically perfect in this movie. It's a small price to pay for salvation. And when I first watched the clips of Claude online and also the trailers, I was like, oh no, 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 no. Is Claude really gonna be in the movie that much? But fortunately he was only in a few scenes and he didn't really overstay his welcome. So that's awesome. Elemental was great, I loved it a lot. Despite a few cliches here and there, I still really enjoyed this movie. All the advertisements in the trailers did not do this movie justice at all. Some of these advertisements are just trying to gaslight you into liking Claude. This might just be Pixar's best movie since Toy Story 4, I really mean it. It's fun, it's charming, it's sometimes comedic, go watch it, I highly recommend it. It may not be one of Pixar's greatest, but it is a genuinely great movie that you should go watch. Also, remember when I gave Lightyear a 5 out of 10 in my Zerg video? I'm dropping that score down to a 2 out of 10. Lightyear feels like a corporate embarrassment compared to this movie, which was made with actual passion. With Turning Red in this movie turning out to be real good, I hope we get more original movies from Pixar. And hopefully that upcoming Elio movie will be good. Let's just hope that Pixar makes more movies like this and less like this. So yeah, I'd say that the Fire Girl and Waterboy movie is about a 9 out of 10. It ain't one of Pixar's greatest, but it is definitely worth watching, especially if you're a big fan of Pixar like myself. Also, the score for this movie is so good. Great job, Thomas Newman. I'll see y'all later. I hope you like this video. Those are too hot. I love hot food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.